Well, good morning to you. I'm just a um, nice, well, bright morning anyway. Just going to a quick update of the allotment, see how things are going. Here you can see got my leeks all planted out. Really small at the moment, but they are they are surviving. It's the first time I've grown leeks, so I'm quite um, quite sure for that. I think it's quite uniform all the holes for the leeks. Here we've got some pok choy coming through. Oh, there's quite a lot there. Look at that there. You can see that snails, slugs. Absolutely loads of them here on this site. Loads of them. I'm sorry if there's a bit of wind noise there. Over here. See, we've got some peas and mulch too coming up, as well as countless amount of um, of weeds. I started hand picking these down the bottom there. This here between the string and the board, all the way down to the bottom, is half peas, half mange too. Um, you may think that's a lot, but um, I found blanching and freezing the uh, mange too. They they um, they do quite well, as I've done in the past. However, here is my pitiful, absolutely pitiful celeriac. Watching a recent gardening program. Um, on telly and uh, a chap on that show was planting out his celeriac um, and I was ashamed they looked like sticks of celery his did <laughs> look at them but they were growing in a kitchen with no light so we'll see what happens may not get much from that but um, one courgette here one courgette with some slug damage there on one of the leaves and down the bottom of this bed here we've got here we have one two three four five six seven eight rows of beetroot going to be growing these to nice golf ball size and pickling them we're using them as um, gifts down here we have radishes that you can see there in those two lines. Then here, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the carrots are starting to come through. I don't know if you focus, there we go. Carrots are starting to come through there. Again, lots of weeds. I picked up most of these. And then here somewhere we do have parsnips as well. I'm not sure where they're coming through just yet. Over on this side this net in here these are my cauliflowers not many there but there is a few and um, just got to get this it's run out of um, posts to finish this raised bed that little voice you can hear there's my son he's come to help us today and say hello Aiden hello good boy there we go now we'll get over to the polytunnel. Right, so here we are at the polytunnel. Water barrel there I can acquired. Got some gutter in, just gotta get the brackets to put up. We're expecting a lot of rain over the next few days. Surprise, surprise, English summer. And here we go, into the polytunnel. First here, as you can see I've got all my peppers. Sweet peppers are the, the pointy ones, I'm not sure the, the precise name for them, so quite a few there. Those we are going to be, um, I'm going to be fire roasting and preserving. That's the plan. And over there in the corner, that is a butternut plant. I'm going to train that on trellis um, along the back there, back of the polytunnel. So go all the way along and make sure it doesn't affect the light of the other plants in here. Coming over here to the left, 
There are three tumbling toms, very big there at the moment. So they're going to go in baskets. I'm going to build some kind of framework in here where they can just hang. Now, I planted all these yesterday. Um, this here we've got some, we've got one, two, three, four, and then one there of the chilies, um, inferno chilies. And then here, I mean, that first one there is looking really healthy, really good. Um, the other ones there, they're pecan chilies, the little cherry bomb ones are like little cherries, like little, like little cherry tomatoes, with a nice bit of heat to them. They're looking a little bit draggled there, I don't know if it was a bit too cold for them last night or something, or whether I've damaged them in transplanting them. I did have a lot more, but um, the dog destroyed them. Never mind. The, um, the pepper plants do look a little um, bedraggled. I mean, I've had all these in the kitchen, in the kitchen itself, where there's not been much light. I'm um, just looking forward to next season when I can have everything started off in the polytunnel and the shed when they're looking a lot better. Over here in the corner is my um, sweet corn. Again, I had some started a, long, a while ago in the kitchen, um, putting the windows in the house, but I didn't, I couldn't get it to the allotment. The polytunnel wasn't done in time, and um, because of the lack of light and sun, and I just lost it. It started um, snapping and yellowing, so I lost it. So fingers crossed, because this polytunnel's in the sun all day, even come um, autumn. It should still get a good, a good, um, good amount of sweet corn off those there. Moving on here, we've got a um, couple of um, gherkin plants. So get some gherkins there, get them pickled up over this, over the, um, over the end of summer. And this here, this little puppy here, is my pride and joy. This is, however you want to call it, ghost chili, naga naga. Joel Bockler, not that I'm pronouncing that at all correctly, but um, I planted six of these seeds, and this is the only one that survived. And I've been looking after this like it's a baby. So, there we go. One of those, I will be putting that in the ground soon. This here is just a tomato plant that my daughter um, got from church, some raffle or something. So, we planted that in here for her. The, the rest of these tomato plants, these ones are Roma tomatoes. Um, again, I've had a batch, but they basically were just leggy. They're bolted. Um, again, not enough light. So I thought I'd try my luck and replant some more seeds. So fingers crossed, these will take. Um, and at least get some tomatoes again because it's in the sun so by September we should get some and these are going to be used for making our own tomato passata so that's it just a, a semi quick update on the plot so far on the polytunnel um, thanks for looking just one quick thing that I have come across that somebody might be able to help me with but I don't know if you're going to be able to see these I have got absolutely loads of ants from somewhere. Absolutely loads of them. I never used to have ants here, and then all of a sudden, I don't know if you can see them, but there's loads. Any ideas on the best way to get rid of them? Or if they're going to do any damage at all to my plants? An absolute con, I just do not have the, an idea where they've come from. So any hints and tips on that, or anything else that you've seen in here, um, would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye.